Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is International Sandwich Sunday and we are headed to Sicily. Uh, we're going to be making the pan e panelle. It's basically a chickpea fritter served in a bun. Like a lot of uh, beloved street foods today, it started off as food for poor folks. Uh, they would eat these fritters when they couldn't afford to, say, buy seafood. They were fried sometimes in oil that was used for frying fish, so again, it gave it that flavor. But that's not always the case and that's not what I'm going to be doing today because I don't have any fish flavored oil. It's an interesting process and uh, yeah, let's get into it. To room temperature water, we slowly whisk in chickpea flour. Now we cook it in a pot until it gets thick, kind of like polenta. Now we add in parsley, chopped, salt, and black pepper. Then we spread that on our cutting board. Put some parchment on it, and then kind of roll it out until it's about a quarter of an inch thick. All right, now we pull the parchment off and let it cool for two hours. It's cool for two hours, and now we cut this into rectangles. Now we fry them up. And we let them drain on a wire rack that's set over a cookie sheet. Now we just stack some onto a sesame seed bun. Okay, let's give this panele a go. It's actually pretty tasty. And I can see how someone eating this would be like, this is satisfying. It may not be exactly fish, but it's fried food in a bun. Now you might think that this is a little bit dry, and it is a little bit dry, but I mean, there's a little bit of oil in the fritters, and they puffed up, and they've got a nice soft texture to them, and good flavor from being fried. I do want to try two different plus-ups, though. First thing is going to be a Sicilian uh, sauce called Sal Mariglio, and it's usually used to season fish or to flavor fish. Garlic, uh, salt, pepper, parsley, uh, lemon juice, and olive oil. Other plus up is not Sicilian, but I still want to try it. A little bit of Trader Joe's Bomba sauce, which is fermented Calabrian chilies, and a little Parmesan cheese. Okay, let's give this panele plussed up with the Sal Mariglio sauce a go. So good. Bright, lemony, a little bit of vegetable uh, flavor from the parsley garlic, all going really well with the fried uh, chickpea fritters. Mm. Okay, let's give this panele plussed up with the fermented Calabrian chilies of Trader Joe's Bomba sauce and a little Parmesan cheese. A go. The brightness and the heat and the flavor of that Calabrian chili sauce and then Parmesan cheese to go with the fried fritters. <laughs> Okay, the recipe I followed was from Filippo's Kitchen.com. Filippo is uh, Italian, and so I kind of trust that he has a good line on the original recipe. The original panele, or pen e panele, was quite tasty, actually. I was surprised at how satisfying that was. I can see why it's a street food. Just grab some and go. Um, I'm going to give that, I'm probably going to give that about a seven and a half. Plus up with the Trader Joe's Bomba Sauce and Parmesan, that's like a nine, but plus up with that Sal Mariglio's, I think that's probably like a nine and a half, almost 10. That is absolutely delicious. Uh, definitely gonna finish this. I don't know that I would make this for a meal, but it's a fun snack and definitely be great at a party. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.